Subscribe, love, like. We're sponsored by the Spunk Lube and rebroadcast by the Demon Seed Radio Network. We could not do any of this without you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Uh, please give us that bump. Hey. <laughs> There's a dual podcast up there for Glenn here with Lily Craven. Like, who's trying to figure out how to get comfortable. Because yeah. like yeah, how are you? <laughs> How's it going? It's going really good. How are you? I got to change where you're at on the, on the phone. Yeah, it's it is. It's like uh, yeah, you yeah, you either your legs well, are so either I, straight out, yeah, right? Or well, you, you got to sit up here and then you have no back support. These are your choices. And then you do kind of go. You can do this. It's dead Fisher. Yeah, this is my, This is it. Well, check out our YouTube content already because uh, <laughs> we're because we've because we're we're a minute in and we haven't and we oh. haven't said anything. Sorry. So they know you got to talk about it. In you're fine. Sorry. Thank you for doing this. Uh, welcome to ABN. How many of these have you been to? I have been to three now. Okay, very cool. Yes. You got one on me. Ooh. You got one up on me. I've, I've come to this is my second one. Nice. Uh, I took a gap year because the first year was such a was such an intense experience. Yes, it was. <laughs> I definitely. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, what uh, what are you accomplishing when you're out here? You said you're shooting some stuff out here. I am. Uh, I shot my first pro BBC couples video. Okay. It went fabulous. Right. Absolutely fabulous. That's great. <laughs> now you said, are you shooting at? Are you shooting at your Airbnb? <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> no, I shot at a studio for that okay, one. Okay, okay, okay. Um, There's nothing going on at our Airbnb. I'm not gonna get you banned from Airbnb. Don't worry. They're not gonna like. But it's not, not anything. Your, I feel like your Airbnb <laughs> name is not the same as your as your Twitter name. Um, no, it's absolutely <laughs> not. But so you never know. I'm sure you're fine. I'm we sure. don't need them coming around. I'm sure you're fine. Visiting um, us. <laughs> no, just, it's Airbnb rules. Just put a sock on the door. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. That's <laughs> all you're doing. They're like, oh, we're good. It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, every, I mean, that's when you when you rent a room to somebody, you know they're gonna fuck in that room. That's kind of the thing. I Airbnb my room and I just switch my bed. I don't. I don't want anybody coming on my bed. Well, yes, but we're not. We're coming on their floor, and they're. I mean, we're uh, not. But yeah, could I'm. Come I'm on saying the floor, the kitchen. This is. The hallway, I'm saying the not staircase. having nothing to do with you, having nothing to do with porn. That's happening at that Airbnb, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh. So when you when you rent your room out, you gotta understand it's it's just gonna be a come palace that's what you've yeah, done yeah i guess that's i never thought of it that way it's just, it's just gross human beings yeah, yeah i don't know that i'd want the inside of my home on a porn video no oh well that's that's the other thing but also like how You're if you have an airbnb how that's just like house. how specific is your home it's not gonna be like that right um it's definitely shows the home yeah yeah we like but to I'm cover saying, the area no i'm <laughs> saying i'm saying if you own an airbnb your yeah. home is not like you don't have all of your nice shit in there. No, absolutely not. You just and have we're not random just sh- IKEA shit. If you, if you, if you, you are, it. you know what? I'll give you that one. Yes. If you rent out your room as an Airbnb. That is very correct, most definitely. Um, <laughs> just shoot one in an Uber too. Now, as long as we're as long as we're doing all the things, yeah. shoot it in the Uber, shoot it in the in the Airbnb. With the Uber, yeah, that was. Um, oh, I've never done that. I've I've never done that either. I tried I tried to I tried to get head in a cab once in New York City and they stopped us. Did they? Yeah, it's terrible. Wow. I mean, it's a bummer. I've had sex in the back of a Greyhound with a stranger. Really? With a stranger. Yeah. yeah. How did that go? Well, it was um. Well, he I, quietly. He was going to war, so oh. I was thinking. Our military. At least he told you he was going to war. <laughs> what year was this? <laughs> Very many years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Which war was this? This was the <laughs> Desert Storm. Is it really? Yes. 90s, 90s, Greyhound. Yeah, 90s. Did you guys didn't get caught? No, we were on the very, very back. Yeah. And I just, you know, hiked up my skirt. I slid S- over. Oh, you went sideways? Uh, no, I went Oh, you on sat top. on top, yeah. No shit. Yeah, it was, it was, I don't even know his name. Yeah. Well, if you're watching. Yeah, if you are. Yeah, it was the military. Hit us up. Let us know. Let us know who you are. And that was it. Yeah. And there were people all around us. It was, it was overnight, like a night trip, but... I did I did it on an Amtrak once. I've never done that. I did it on an Amtrak in the bathroom with my girlfriend, but my sister was on the was on the Amtrak with us. So she was a couple seats away. Okay, that's pretty Oh my god. It's risky, yeah. <laughs> We had to get it in. It was a, it was a, it was like a four-hour like uh, train. What was I going to do? Did you say you had to get it in? <laughs> I had to get it in. Like the four-hour train. Let who it can, blow? Yeah. Who can, who can, who can not, who can, who can not have sex for four hours? Who it's can, not possible. Who could not make it? It's not possible. Oh my gosh! Well, gosh, I'm like on. Uh, anyways, yeah. Yesterday was a great video day because yeah, yeah it's been a while. 
<laughs> okay. I was like the only one in the industry not having sex. Yeah. I was like, this is ridiculous. Really? Yeah, it was getting pathetic. How do you <laughs> how do you maintain your, your profile in the industry by without having sex? I use really, really, really big toys. <laughs> okay. Well, it's the same. Oh, you, but, okay. So you're saying literally the the catharsis of the actual sex. It's not that it's not that you were uh, even you weren't stopping. You were still having sex with yourself. Well, yes. <laughs> just not. <when laughs> it's just not the you know. It was getting like um, to the point where I had so much anxiety about shooting really? because I was like, "Am I going to know what to do? Like, how right. do you take your clothes off?" It happens sometimes. Yeah, like well, it's like I'm riding a bike. Don't worry. When I'm, when if I'm anybody in a relationship, having a break, you'll and get you've been sleeping with the same person, and then you get out, and it's like a new one, and you take a break, and then it's a new one. You're like, "Wait a minute, am I even? Am I even still on my game?" Yeah, like, like <laughs> and then I was like, "Am I good? Like, what if I'm not good in bed? I'm like, yeah. it must be good because I'm on like." Right, like, <laughs> right. I must be good, and but I can't keep a man, so maybe I'm not good. Right, but we're not, cause we're not like we're, that's not how you keep. You can't keep a man through sex. No, you got to do it through their stomach. Yeah, <laughs> um, you can't keep a man through sex. It doesn't them. matter. It's like we will, we will weigh the thing, and we'll be like, okay, how do I, how do I try and 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 maintain <laughs> some level of the sex without without having to. Uh, get further in a relationship, but we yeah you can't keep a man through sex. It's not no, it didn't work. We're very and we uh, we're very like uh, categorical from the standpoint of like we like there's a time in our life when we just start trying to to like like check more boxes. Oh, is that what my ex was doing? Maybe he was just checking boxes. Maybe I think I was at the top of the list. It, I mean the the for number one. Yeah, and it was on the check. Well, no, that's a different. No, that's he a had different. Another 50 no, that's a go. different list. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I was wondering. I've never so, really gotten answers. In so where, uh, <laughs> so so uh, you haven't had any long-term successful relationships? Oh no, I, well successful. <laughs> he put in the word That's successful. Asking, yes. I have not. Why not? <laughs> I've had long-term marriages, but not. How many successful. times have you been married? <sighs> Remember you? Is there? I asked you if there's anything. Limit? Yeah, you didn't say anything. <laughs> you said nothing. <laughs> We've been married three times. Yeah, but I'm really old, so. That's not, I don't know. That's a th And they're quitters. Uh, here's my question. They're, no, actually, I'm the quitter. When God, you're, yeah, quitter when you're lining too. up for the third one, why are you like, well, this one's going to go good? I just knew it was. Yeah. I just didn't know that it was all fake. Yeah. I didn't know there was a double life. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I do think. They, I call, <laughs> they call. You get a phone call that says, um, I'm engaged to your husband, oh. and we even have an apartment together. Wow. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> um, yeah, there, I don't understand. I don't understand the the vibe. This is a thing that used to be easier to do. I think um, <laughs> this is a, this is a joke that I have. It used to be easier to have a second family back in the day, like in the in the it in the was. '60s. You, there was no social media. It was so basically you could just drive in any direction a couple hours. That's true. And just start a new family. Yes. And then just have a job where you had Monday off and you go visit your family Monday, Tuesday. Well, I grew up in San Diego and you just, you know, they would just have one family in Mexico and yeah. then in Tijuana right. and Boom. one family in San Diego. Easy peasy. Well, Nobody yeah. ever knows. No. Nope. Now everybody knows. Now everybody's on your Instagram. They're looking at your tags on yeah, Facebook. I know. Find my iPhone is really find my <laughs> husband. <laughs> find, my find my husband. Find my other wife. <laughs> yeah. So, so they found me. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> So you got a call out of the blue, not knowing yeah. that this is going to be. That's interesting. <laughs> it is. I don't understand people how people think that their lives are going to go good if they if they perpetrate everything through lies. I don't understand that that mentality. I really don't. I don't either. Um, but I think all you have to do is become a porn star, and then you can say eat your heart out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is it solving the problem? Well, solving the problem was walking out the door, but yeah. then you know. <laughs> You like to purposely kind of slip in. Oh, oh, here's my porn video. I mean, oh, I sent that link to the wrong person. Oh, did he? Didn't, he didn't know you were a porn star. Or I did never. He, I didn't start weren't. till right after because he oh, okay. wanted a porn star. Oh, and now he and he had he one the had whole time. He had one and he didn't know it. Oh wow, <laughs> interesting. Is I was in the making, I guess. Yeah. So. That's an interesting. That's an interesting way to get into the biz. It, it's an interesting way to get in someone's head. <laughs> so you're still playing mind games with this man? Absolutely. <laughs> Without what's, a doubt. What's the upside of this? The upside is I can, like, watch him go. Mm. <laughs> sad puppy? Yeah. I Very guess. sad. I guess. I guess that's one He's way. He's missing that's a one lot. Yeah, I, 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 I believe you. I agree yeah. with you. But it is, it is a weird thing. So you got to onwards and upwards. 
yeah, yeah, exactly. And I'm just <laughs> moving on up, and he's just still that same green grass he was picking. Is, is he? At the, is he with the same girl? There oh, is this no. heavens no! Oh, he's not. <laughs> oh, there's a weird vibe of people that I found. Wait, which one? There was a whole guy. They they just came out of the woodwork like roaches. Really? So oh, he's yes. still so he's still in this he's still in this sort of sort sort of phase of oh, his life. Oh yes, there was so many I lost count. Really. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Well, so would you have been open to doing um, sort of uh, uh, the the open relationship vibe? Absolutely yeah. not. Oh, you wouldn't. Bizarre Why? enough, no. Um, I really, I don't think I need to share. I think I can tend to a man just fine. I want him focused on me. I want to have a common goal as each other, and be working towards it. And I think adding all those extra people is just completely unnecessary. <laughs> Although, if I could or was that kind of person like i wish i was more like that yeah i think it's a very they're more honest yeah than most relationships yeah this it's is what so i found positive. is that is that you get yeah you get to a place where you can have more open, open discussions open and then the goal yeah. of an open relationship is not that there's a ton of other people running around the goal of a relationship is that it's it's is that it's actually pr it's tighter and more honest very honest. They and then are once so real. And then once you get to that state where you're like so honest with each other, it's almost like you, you call to sort of like check in or get the permission or whatever. And it's like and then you realize the person on the phone is who you'd rather fuck. So that you may as well not even go to this other place. Does that happen? That Cause, happens. Because I know that they that's well, like from the what I spot. heard, they actually go fuck the person. It depends. But that's the sweet spot <laughs> is like is like, well, go do this. But it's like, but this doesn't have any value anymore. And you so it's like when you're when you're sneaking around, you have to put like more value on stuff because Absolutely. you know that it can blow up at any time. Yes. So every person you're lying to then has to think that they're the main one in case this one drops off and this one that drops so off stressful. and then this one can become it's the, it is not good. I spent my 20s not understanding that I could that I could find lanes uh, where I could get what I wanted. And I felt that 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 some of my needs were unrealistic and I hadn't met people in this industry yet and I felt like lying was the way and it was and it would tear me apart it tore me apart for 10 years like yes. like figuring out how to That's like good it tore you apart yeah it wasn't it's not good I'm not <laughs> a good liar I'm not uh, it's not an easy thing to do it should tear you apart it should tear you apart God it forbid it tears, tears the other person but it apart. wasn't but it wasn't until it wasn't until I realized that some of my needs and desires are like have a have a real place in the absolutely. world absolutely and that just being honest about them makes for a much better yeah. circumstance all you have to do is say you know I I, I like I like when a girl throws up on me. Yeah, sure. That's I a, like I. I didn't know that's where we're going, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like when you know I like to sleep with these people and have them watch me. I like. Yeah, this is how I feel about foot porn. I feel stuff. like foot porn is is a it's a big uh, it's become this thing because nobody's ever asking their wife to f to like can I fuck your feet? Yeah. It's like just ask your wife if you can fuck her feet, and she might say no, but she'll probably say yes. And because uh, it's not really it's not really that nobody's really going to be that traumatized if you fuck their feet. So it's no, like, but it's not like it's the same thing as I want to shove my cock down your neck and yeah. you gag. Yeah, I want you to throw up all over me. Sure, like, just say it. Yeah. Because it's because otherwise then you're just you're money. just like in the basement. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise you're just in the no, but you would still make money because then people would actually have a, a real real life version of it. You know what I've learned most, like the biggest thing that I've learned is that women have this idea that men want to hear, oh come come taste my sweet pussy here. Would you would you please lick it? Oh you're just oh what a nice dick you have. No, they want, like, come shove that cock down my throat. I want snot coming out of my mouth. I want my makeup there ran down my guys, face. There are guys, yes. Like, I want to ram your neck. Yeah. Like <laughs> Wait, who, th who feels this way? No, but that's what men really want to hear. Some men. Really? Yeah, I'm not into the, I'm not into the, any of the sort of the violent level stuff. Not vi Hold on, not violent, just crude, nasty. Like, yeah. Like, we, they don't want photos where she's like... And nice little, they want it like. Bleh. I think all I've learned in this in this business is that <laughs> everybody like, wants something different. Your head, you know, like that. I kind think of everybody nastiness. wants something different. I think, and that's that's the beauty of this business <laughs> is that everybody's hitting the marks, and all of the things are represented. Absolutely. Like and the people that like it, and the knew. people that like it, there's people that like it shy, and there's people that like it just fucking out there. It's just in a Greyhound bus in the back after meeting somebody. There's there are the, all of the people. That's just one. <laughs> but um, many, many years ago. But it is just, there's such an array. This community uh, is so open. Yeah. So real, so mm -hmm. raw. Um, 
there's just no judgment here. Yeah, right. And I, when I come here, I'm free. Like I, I don't want to compare it to anything else. No, really, please. it's just a freedom that you can't in your real life. You cannot tell people because of safety reasons. You can't tell your professors because of judgment or. Um, even down to fetishes. Yeah, how are you navigating that? So you're you oh, you would like geez. it to, you would like the anonymity of the thing, right? And you don't live in a porn town, so you're sort of uh, you're just trying to stay under the radar. Um, I am very open about what I do. Yeah. Um, but I am not open in my state in my home. Yeah. Uh, number one is safety. Yeah. And my family. Number two, um, I know without a doubt, being a full time student, it would be. They would not like me. I would sure. be shunned. Right. So, so why how do, do you, that to myself? So how do you navigate both wanting to build as big of a following as you can and trying to stay under the radar? I gr I'm I'm gonna graduate. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so once so once you're out, you're gonna you're just gonna rip. Um, I am ripping. Yeah. So I'm I'm tearing it up. Um, but I just. <sighs> I don't openly let them know when I'm doing my papers. I do a, I do a lingerie and adult product business as yeah. opposed to what I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So you my oh, papers so you're, so you're are taking about entrepreneurial classes. Yeah, I'm marketing manager. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so I, cool. I point my business towards, and I do have that business that yeah. piggybacks, sure. off, you know, buying products for me or toys for customers. <laughs> but that's not my main focus at yeah. all so what i do is i piggyback the two and i tell them that's what i do okay that's so cool. i can still gear everything in my learning my education is still in that same category yeah how far are you from graduation at this point i need to do i need to pass the counting <laughs> is that right four times i've taken it. Isn't that math has never been has never been good it's not for math you. It's there's accounting. no math in accounting no not really no. really no Okay, so it's a problem, and you categorize everything on sure. your accounts. But it starts here, mm -hmm. and then a hundred steps later it ends, and then you get one point. Yeah. But I'm usually like, oh, look, a squirrel in like yeah. this part of the problem, right. and then I don't know what happens from there. And then, and then with anything sort of that uh, specific, yeah, you can't you can't skip a step. You don't get to the you don't get to the no. answer. No, and then like you, even when you do the computer work, because they give you little drop downs. Yeah. Like I memorize really really good. Sure. So I can just, I just memorize it and I keep moving on. But yeah. then when you have to put it on a blank. But you didn't actually paper, learn it. No. Because you memorize how to do it. Yeah yeah yeah. Interesting. So I can memorize everything straight through, but I cannot. I don't know why. Right. So when they give me a different scenario. Right. I, Got and it. a blank piece of paper. God forbid. <laughs> I thought it convinced my professor that I would not be an accountant and that he would just pass me. Like, yeah, I I'm, swear gonna, I'm not going to need this class. Right? I swear <laughs> he knew, like, there's no doubt in his mind. I made sure of it. Yeah. That he knew I was not going to be an accountant. Yeah, there's no reason. Yeah, there's no reason I need he to didn't pass, pass me. I'll just, I'll just pay somebody for this. He didn't pass me. Well, he has one job. <laughs> he has one job. His job is to make his sure you job. learn the material. He's now, doing, mind he's you, he right. gave me a point for every. I mean, if I spell my name right, he yeah. gave me a point. He <laughs> sure. gave me a point, point, half point, anything, and I still didn't pass it. Really? So. Well, that's a so bummer. This is going to be a rough. Uh, I start on February 4th. This time I'm doing it online in hopes that maybe. You can cheat? I would never. <laughs> <laughs> I, then I didn't earn it. I Yeah. I had a buddy. I had a buddy when I when Tutoring's we got out of college. Great. Tutoring's I a, good. I had a buddy <laughs> when we got out of college. He uh, he said uh, I was I was just starting a comedy and he was still in college and he was like I got I got this. He said I got this fucking um, we did a trade deal. <laughs> Uh, I needed to get like some of my videos edited, and that's what he was going to school for. And, and he <laughs> wanted, and he didn't want to have to write a script for a film that he was going to have to make. And I was like, "Well, I'll write the script as long as we make the film, and you edit my videos." And he's like, "Hell yeah, let's do this!" And that was our trade. So I've been, I've been involved in, uh, in, fr in fraud, <gasps> college fraud. Do you know how serious that is? College it's plagiarism. fraud. Like not yeah. plagiarism. Well, it's not it's, plagiarism. It's I don't know uh, what it's called when you wait, let, when you have somebody else do the work for you. What is that? Um, it's called cheating. <laughs> yeah, it's called what's the word? Cheating. Yeah, yeah. That's a good word for it. But you yeah. know, it's not really cheating. Well, see, 
I thought that you, if you Googled all the answers, yeah. that that's cheating. And so one it's time not. I got yeah. caught and because I, he's like, where did you get all these? And I was like, Google. And he was like, and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe I just told him I yeah. Googled this, the whole test. Yeah. And he's like, that's not cheating. That's researching. Yeah. I'm all shut up. So I it was like, a, it was an open phone test. No, I was at home. It was a home so, test. But it didn't say. Yeah. But he said, no, that's research. You just got to get to the answer. As long as that's you get it. the answer. As so long as you get the answer. and the, Yeah, because there's at least some knowledge. You can't type in the words word for word. So yeah. if you take out like is or a, then it's not the same question. It, it is the same question, but. I don't know what's happening. Yeah. You can't <laughs> write the question word for word. Well, as long as you didn't find <laughs> like the whole test in an envelope somewhere. Um. Right? Um, no, never done that. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. I can't I can't read I can't read your uh your, your sarcastic face. There's expression. no <laughs> that doesn't ever happen in something that was the old that was the old move. No, there's nothing. That was such old move. Thing. That, that was back in the day. That was old move. Was was uh so you would get you would try to steal the test uh, the an test answers out of the at the teacher's, teacher's desk. desk. Right. Okay, that was, that was way. Yes. Yeah. Or you would copy your friends like the yeah. bubbles on the scantron, right. except my eyesight's kind of worse yeah. over no, time. Yeah, scantron, you'd be off by one. And then my teacher gives You got a, you got a zero. Or you got the one where she gives you test A, B, C, D, and everybody's different. Right, you right. copy B's and you, you were A, a and then she's you're it? cheating, you're yeah. busted. And you're like, dude, I don't know what happened. Yeah, that's funny. We I had what you're talking about. The only time I ever got caught cheating was there was a bunny. In, uh, we had a bunny in this stupid class and oh it was hopping God. around. So I'm taking a test and then this fucking bunny's like sitting on my feet and I was like, I don't know what this fucking bunny is. Yeah. So I'm like trying to get this bunny out of here. And the lady comes over. She's like, are you guys talking on the test? We had to come and do the test again uh-huh. afterwards. I got, got caught cheating because of a bunny. I don't know if anybody else ever has that story. A bunny cheating? No. I no. Like, I don't know why. I don't know why we had this bunny. It was a math class. I don't know why we had this bunny in the room. Why is this bunny dumb, running crazy yeah, lady. And they poop everywhere. And they're they? mean. They buy. Oh yeah, the little pellet poops. Yeah. Have you ever had a pig? I've never had a pig. Did you I a pig? did. His name was Pig. His name was Pig. Yeah, because it was like, hi, Pig, and what he did, would go. What did you do with the pig? Okay, well, <laughs> well, you know that good husband that I had. <laughs> so, so I went on a trip one time just for a week, and I came back, and the pig was gone, and what? it was a dog. He swapped it for a dog. He thought you wouldn't notice. Yes. Was the dog's name Pig? No, the dog's no. But I was so mad. I was like, where's Pig? Yeah. And he's like, it's a hunting dog. You can't have a pig. What? Yeah, he got a hunting dog and replaced what does that mean? him. And then he told me he put him on a ranch, but I really don't believe. You think he just hurled him into a river? What do you think he did? Um, he probably put him on a ranch to be chopped up. He just, I don't, the pig that you had in your house it's is the not. Same, there is no such thing as a mini pig. But this pig that you had in your house is not, is not equipped to go be livestock. Um, why not? We're, uh, He's just not because he's not been eating the things that they need him to eat. That you have, you're not fattening him up. You're not giving him like feed in the back, right? He lived in the house. But I be- yes, but I believe they probably he put him on a farm to be fed. Whatever, <laughs> whatever you want to be the thing. I know it's really sad. <laughs> like I was like pig, but like pig, pig, don't get a pig. Pig, if you're watching. Pig, come just call come me. Home. Your mom has been looking for come you. Come home. It was it was. Your horrible father's come home. fault. Yeah, come home. Um, I just thought I don't understand. Yeah, I don't understand the hunting dog thing. He thought the dog was going to kill the pig. No, but I mean, he, yes. Oh. Yeah, it was a it was a black and tan coon hound. Yeah, I don't think he's just going like, to. Like, why would you give me that dog? Yeah, that I don't think he's. I don't think he would kill his brother. Don't ask where the dog is. <laughs> Where's the dog now? It's just, we don't know. I don't know. What? I had to get rid of him too, because he's biting everybody. He except for oh. me, like biting. Yeah. I think he would have killed the pig. I don't know. This doesn't sound good. None of this sounds very no, good. No, it wasn't. It was a tragic <laughs> like situation. I'm like, dude, quit. Bu- First of all, I don't want a lot want of strife an- in this household. I don't want an animal. Right. Like, quit bringing me. And then the cat. That's that's Yzma. That was a whole different story. Yeah. She was cat bitch from hell. Cat bitch? Yeah. She was this just is- <laughs> hanging from stuff. I th- feel like if you have this many animal problems, this is a you. This is don't a human problem. Don't have animals. Like, every this animal I human have had are, yes. Yeah. Thank I'm you. great with animals. My animals are like off the chisel, yeah, like this is straight nut problem. jobs. You know how you know how they do these shows that where like there's a there's like a, an evil cat and like an evil dog and then, and the people come in like I don't need to rehabilitate the dog, I need to rehabilitate the person. Yes, that's because you. Every single day, I know my cat said, 
what am I going to do to torture her today? No, this is you. She has to cry by the end of the day. No, like, this is And you. I'm crying every day this by the end of the were, day. I think your cat was just getting even somehow. I don't know what you were doing to this It cat. was horrible. <laughs> like, but, but see, I still wouldn't have gotten rid of him, but right. someone could... So you just well, the, none of these animals make it through their full life cycle with you. No, they didn't. I'm not saying they're dead. I mean, I really think. Pig's but if they're dead. alive somewhere, else, I'm saying they're alive somewhere. Could not with yeah. you anymore. No, <laughs> because like I had to like leave the dog behind and the dog. Yeah, you so are. You like, leave all the dogs <laughs> behind because the. You're a um, you're like a country music song. You left him. You left the truck, the dog, and the pig, and the gun. And the husband. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, the him. Yeah, oh, okay. The him. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, okay, so you, uh, you're, you said you're in, you're in a non-porn uh, shooting place. Yes, absolutely. You have... I'm in Colorado. You have roughly... We're in Colorado. Um, Not your exact address, but <laughs> roughly... <laughs> we'll say the Denver area. Okay, okay. Because Denver... So there's two, there's two chunks of... Because the, there's Denver, which is really cool and kind of crunchy. I'm kinda rural. Crunchy. We'll put it that and way. And then there's like the... the um, there's, a ta- there's like a military town. That has a completely different type of set of rules. I am not military, and I am not the city. Okay, because there's well, cause so we tried to play Colorado <laughs> Springs, and they were like on our oh case no, about whether or not crazy there's something there. in that weird town. Yeah, there's something like what happened? Well, they got in and an out. The what? And they have an in and out burger. That's how is that related mm-hmm. to the? <laughs> oh, I just had. To Can I put you closer to the mic? Oh, I had to the, put yeah. that plug in. Yeah, they have yeah. an in and out. Yeah. So let's start with that. But something crazy happened recently. What was it? See, someone ate someone. Or what? So, um, yeah, something. This is happening everywhere, though. Oh, is people still doing bath salts? People are just eating people. Yeah, if they eat eat, eat faces because yeah, of bath salts. that happened. That was a drug thing. Is that the same thing as the actual salt you put in the bath, or is it? I think it was like a separate a deal. Drug you let's buy. Let's try. Off the Do you have some on you? Let, let's no. let's eat a bath bomb and see what happens. I don't think that's salt. That'd be a fun. That'd be a Do fun they have run. salt inside of the bath? I don't know. Bombs? I don't know anything. About, I've never taken a bath in my life. Yeah, don't. I'm a grown man. Yeah, who does that? Because I pee in it. You pee in the bath? No, I would if it was warm <laughs> water hits me. Like, and then I'd right? have to drain it to pee and Is then right? turn it back on. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, Otherwise, I, I'm gonna just float in it. I always like. I always. I always start with the idea that I'm going to. Like I'll be, I'll be it's like sometimes just be one of those days, and you just like sit down in the shower and you let it run, and they cool it to plug it, and then before it like reaches a human level, I'm like I'm I'm, I'm already yeah, because it's like corroded already. I'm already done. No, it's just like it just takes so long. I don't want to be in the water that long. I don't either. I want to get in and out. It's like done. The, I don't really see the I don't really see the, the hot tub thing is not for me. I don't really see the whole point anyway. Now I did grow up with a hot tub. That was always fun. Where'd you grow up? San Diego. You did. Yes. What's it like over there? It is. Uh, busy, yeah. fast paced, um, sketchy a bit. Yeah, what do you mean? Um, I think sketchy as far as you need to watch who you're with. You okay. know, who it's a, it's a good community. Yeah, it's it is. It depends what city you live in. It's beautiful. It's overpriced, reasonably so. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're not. They're, they're not. Um, they're, they're, the mayor is not. There's gonna g- definitely a lot of, of of perks to being there. Yeah. I'm outside, uh, the ocean, the yeah. ocean in the ocean. The seafood is magnificent. Right. Um, I just. It's it's time to slow down life a bit now. Sure. It's time to be somebody and not just a number. Yeah. So. For you. Yes, where you know your neighbors. You, like you don't, you can't spit from your toilet and hit their went bathroom window. Yeah. Like that's so great. That, and that's what and that's what San Colorado Diego. was. No, that's what San Diego like. You can but that's what Colorado is, is that you can't. Yeah. No, we have land. There's space yeah. at, between everybody. There's space. Nice. Yeah. So what do you? Okay. So what's going on? What else are you accomplishing here at AVN this week? You going to the, you going to the war show? Absolutely. Um, I'm so excited. You shoot? Are you shooting a bunch more content? I I am shooting a. <laughs> T- I'm supposed to ride a toy. Yeah. A promo for a toy. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> You're one of those rider yeah. which one? toys. Um, I'm going to find out. Oh, you don't know which product it no, is? No, but I know I'm going to ride it. <laughs> <laughs> and I like. That? So I'm really into, um, but see, <laughs> I'm really, my niche is, is go big or go home. Okay. So. It should be interesting. Oh, literally. You're like whatever the, the biggest thing we could find. Yes. <laughs> okay. Like, why not? 
I don't know. I'm asking. I'm just clarifying. Yeah. Like, like the lamp. We'll just, if, yeah, yes. If we can put the lamp Ex- in you, we're going to do it. The lamp. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. Because, the <laughs> well, the, my thing is, is if, like, you can't have the real thing, well, like. But nobody's lamp sized. No, th- that's the thing. <laughs> so if you can't have the real thing, yeah. like, why not just go extreme go and, like, do something that's really going to get it. It is. And it's good. It is good for camera. I will say that. Yeah, because it's better if you have, like, you just don't want to see, like, that's a typical five inch. Yeah, like, I remember what. Yeah, there was like there really? was there was a period in my in my porn viewing where yeah where that was where that was like the big You're the like, big hmm. cut was that I f- yeah I was able to find this these just massive yep. crazy things and I do like yeah I did the Great American Challenge. The what is it? The Great American what is Challenge. That? It is a dildo the size of my leg. Yeah, probably it's about five or seven pounds. I would guess. Really? Yeah. Wow. You know, Coke cans, bottles, uh, fists. That one, that one's always, that one always makes me laugh. Is the is the the fist toy? Why? It's just hilarious. Oh, I don't use the toy. But the, you know, I, I know you don't use yeah. the toy. But the one, the one that is the toy that's just yeah. like this is just really funny to look at. Yeah, it's kind of awkward. To, like, yeah, it's <laughs> it is. I just use the real thing. You really just use a real fist. It's just talent I have. <laughs> okay. Because I'm really, really, really flexible. Yeah. Okay. Well, that, that'll be our that'll be our challenge then. We'll do uh, we'll do a flexibility uh, human challenge. We're gonna do okay, some some, do. some safer work stuff. Uh, plug yourself. How do we find you? How do we pay for your porn? Okay. <clears throat> to find me, Lily Craven, you want to go to chatterbait.com slash lily forty, and also L I L Y L I L Y two L's four zero all lo- lowercase. Um, then I am on cams 789 and that is Lily Craven. Oh, then TLC A N D Y X X X dot com. That's my website. Nice. Oh, I got to keep plugging, huh? <laughs> yeah, whatever you want. <laughs> we want to go <clears throat> and to everybody in the industry, definitely come check out. Why not? Um, why not community? We're getting together for the Hollywood Hollywood Webcam Awards Show, yeah, which what is, is that? oh, it's fabulous. When is that? <laughs> so it's Why Not Cams. It's similar to AVN. Yeah, when, when, when? Oh, that is uh, July twentieth. Nice. Through the twenty second. I heard they had a category uh, funniest cam like model, which is which, which is a fun thing to 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 take and, and add as a category. Yeah, the parody and all that yeah. stuff. Yes, they they do the same thing. You get spoiled. Um, absolutely wonderful award show. They do all of the the um the seminars and it's for the models only it's yeah. people in the industry you're going to learn how to how to anything sure and we all need we don't have ways i can't go ask my kids how right, to right, do, right. i can't go ask you know your teacher how do we work this right 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 I it's like, like it. going to the geek squad because I, I couldn't it. get my lush toy connected. <laughs> okay. And you're like, excuse me. Oh, that's really funny. So, yes. Very cool. We got a lot going on. But we cam girls, any kind of resources that you need, that is the place to go for everybody in the industry Very good. as well. Cool. Well, check out those things. Uh, this is the Porn Story People podcast. Uh, we're on iTunes. We're on Google Play. Whatever thing you're on, we're also on the other thing. Yes. Um, <laughs> check out our YouTube content and then check out our uh, Safer Work content here on Instagram. We're going to have a little flexibility contest. Oh, see what happens. Oh. Uh, she's she's, she's like. She's laid a huge claim. I'm going to win. Oh, I mean. <laughs> oh, gosh. I'm, I'm, not, really? I'm, not flex- no, I'm not flexible at all. You're totally going to win. Uh, thank you guys for listening and watching. Thank We're you again to my guest, Lily Craven, for being here. Thank, thank you, you so much. For uh, being part of the Porn Social yeah. Podcast Network. Yeah. <laughs>